Minecraft has gone through many ups and downs throughout the past few years, and today I want to discuss that alongside why it became so popular. Minecraft is really complex, but it's kind of hidden by the very simple exterior, which is very helpful for a new player because it does not discourage them from wanting to play, and it helps them slowly ease into all of the complexities of Minecraft. The best analogy I could probably come up to describe Minecraft would be kind of like a geode. The outside is really simple, just kind of simple rock, but the inside is way, way more complex. The learning curve of Minecraft is great for a new player. There are a lot of problems you have to solve, and doing it without a wiki can be really entertaining. There's a reason why so many people wish to be a new beginner. It's because after you've become skilled in Minecraft, that charm of figuring things out is kind of lost since you already have everything figured out. That, combined with the overabundance of things to do and learn in Minecraft, really helped it become even more popular. A perfect example of the easy to learn yet hard to master learning curve would be 1.8 Combat. In 1.8 combat, one click does one full attack, unlike in 1.9 combat, where if you click too fast, you only do half a heart of damage. Instead, after clicking, you have to wait for a charge bar to fill up, and then you'll be able to do full damage again. A new player might not even know that the charge bar exists and will have a hard time learning combat. Otherwise, in both versions, the progression is the same. After learning how to do normal combat, you have the choice between opening a battle with a bow or maybe even TNT, or using lava or flint steel to try and set them on fire or trying to use a potion to buff yourself or poison your enemy, for example. Or even deciding to eat a golden apple before going into a fight. Now I could go on and on about the intricacies of each aspect of Minecraft and how they all seamlessly weave themselves into one another, but that's a topic for a different video. Instead, we are going to discuss Minecraft's history of popularity, specifically on websites like YouTube. On May 17th of 2009, Minecraft was released to the public, and on May 21st of 2009, the first video was released by Carl Zor onto YouTube. In 2011, Minecraft Pocket Edition was released, and in 2012, Minecraft was released on the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Minecraft peaked in July of 2013 with an abundance of YouTubers making content for the game. As it grew more popular, more undesirable players joined the fanbase. This caused Minecraft to be seen as a cringe game for little kids. That in turn made it seem taboo to play Minecraft, but it still never truly died. Minecraft just entered a sort of dark age. Many people stopped making Minecraft content altogether. The dark age went on for a while until around when Jay Schlatt made a tribute to Minecraft. After he expressed his love and nostalgia for Minecraft, many others decided to do the same. Many other YouTubers decided to make their own videos on Minecraft, which only helped it gain even more popularity. Minecraft acts kind of like a time capsule to give people who haven't played for a long time a window back to whenever they were younger. Alongside the fact that it's already really fun to play in its own right, many people just flocked back to Minecraft and started making videos on it, including PewDiePie. Now word on the nostalgia factor of Minecraft, Minecraft is literally a digital sandbox, so as a child, it should be very understandable why you would love it so much. As one of the little kids who started playing around 2011, I just felt like I had to defend myself. I mean, it's pretty obvious why little kids love Minecraft so much. I mean, Minecraft is a perfect environment for creative little children to build whatever they want. So now we're going to look at Minecraft's cycle of popularity, which is pretty simple. Basically, Minecraft gets popular, so then people make videos on it. Then Minecraft gets even more popular, especially in little kids. Then people lose interest in it because of those little kids, which causes the Minecraft Dark Age. People get tired of the Dark Age, and then they make videos on it, and then Minecraft gets popular again. And clearly this spell is a troubling future for Minecraft in the next few years, but it could be okay. We don't need Minecraft to be popular to enjoy it. For the most part, there are big multiplayer servers like Hypixel, which require more players for you to play against. Now, as one of those cringy little kids that played Minecraft well throughout the Dark Age, I can tell you it doesn't need a very large player base to be fun, but we can still hope that Minecraft will stay popular for the next few years. Now, I'm gonna have a little survey in the top right corner, which will ask you around what year you started playing Minecraft, just so I can see if you even started playing Minecraft at all. And also, please tell me in the comments if you plan to play Minecraft past its renaissance and into the second Dark Age, assuming there is one. And remember, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, it'll give me the motivation to make more of these. And I'll see you guys all next time.